So when I um, was a child, uh, in kindergarten as a matter of fact, so five years old, I, um, there was a, a little girl in that classroom, don't remember her name, uh, but I do remember by the time I went on to first grade, she was back in kindergarten. Mm -hmm. uh, so she repeated. And uh, back then, it was really clear and obvious that she was different. There was something different about this little girl. And now, as an adult, I know that in fact she had some developmental disabilities. Um, there were some cognitive uh, issues as I look back at those experiences. And I'm able to trace that completely to my desire to go become a teacher. Um, when I went through school, um, I had my own struggles. I think as a lot of kids have their struggles and my personal school experiences um, also led me to be want to be a teacher. Um, so as I got to college and I went to a school and I was focusing on early childhood education um, and special education and the training that goes along with that, um, I went to school in Boston at a school called Wheelock College. Mm -hmm. um, and while I was there, I then had you know, enormous opportunities to do um, not just the classroom, not just the, 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 the college level work, the courses and whatnot, but I spent a lot of time uh, working out in the field. Um, and that was one of the values of, of a school like Wheelock College, a small school um, and a lot of opportunity to uh, have a great practical experience. Um, I really believed in that, that it would really enhance my ability to then go into classrooms and be a teacher. Um, so I went into special education, young and green, not knowing what I was doing, and, uh, and I started working in classrooms um, in 1986. Um, I was uh, teaching in a, a learning center uh, scenario in a, a suburban school district in Massachusetts, uh, Ipswich, Massachusetts, and we were doing something incredibly unusual at that time. Uh, this school district had developed a model called mainstreaming. It was a big deal. It was the big buzz and it was really, you know, really amazing. And the model that we had was even unique within Massachusetts. Um, there were three full-time special education teachers, paraprofessionals. We did not, we, we took a few kids out of the classroom as learning support teachers, but we went into classrooms. We were working in classrooms. We were working in partnership with teachers. Um, and at that time, there were some computers that were already Apple IIs out at that point. Um, we had one that was pretty rare at that point, but we had one. And so there was some word processing stuff that we were starting to do, but it really didn't emerge. Uh, it wasn't as strong right then and there.